having malfunctions of my hair. What a good way to start the vlog. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bella. If you didn't know, if you haven't seen the previous video, my introduction, I don't know. I guess it's an introduction. Something different. I don't know. Anyways, so today I wanted to talk about um, some things I've been going through. Um, I know I posted a couple, maybe like a month, maybe two weeks ago can't really remember I want to say that um and if you don't follow me on social media you probably don't know what the heck I'm talking about my friends do shout out to y'all um so yeah so I've been having some issues um the past couple years with myself um things haven't been right haven't been feeling right you know kind of like just not being myself and um if you know me you know I'm always cheerful I'm laughing I'm always well, try to be happy at least but the past couple years have been really really hard on me and you know it's it started to take over my life a little bit um, to the point where I would sleep in on days um, I would not get up for hours I would stay up extra late and then be exhausted in the morning when I get my daughter up for school um, go back to sleep until 1 or 2 p.m. and it's been like that for quite some time and um, also I've noticed a lot of my uh, relationships with my friends have been really really I don't know kind of like I don't know how you would say it but it's yeah you see this hair yeah anyways um, so yeah um, I wanted to let everybody know I'm okay um physically mentally i'm okay now i did reach out to my doctor and to a counselor and a therapist again um and i wanted everybody to know that it's not a drug problem so for all of you who have been asking is it a drug problem are you okay like are you using and i'm like no it's not that um so i've been diagnosed with a uh, bipolar depression um I guess it kind of runs in my family I guess um, probably not on my mother's side but maybe on my father's side um, and I had to get help it was really taking a toll on my life and I didn't know what direction to go in I've just always been upset or I've always been sad I've noticed uh, I would be crying a lot over things from the past and you know I, I you know had kind of a rough childhood a little bit you know I'm not gonna get into too much detail of that I don't want to put all of my business out like that but I wanted everybody to know that I'm finally in such a good place now you know I am on medication now um, and you know I was in complete denial before that I was like there's no thing wrong no no thing nothing wrong with me and you know I was in complete denial and then you know reading up on it trying to figure out these mood swings and you know staying up late and you know like not wanting to do anything with my fiance or not hang out with my daughter and it was like it was heartbreaking because I knew they wanted to be around me and I knew they wanted to do things but it's just like I never had the energy and I always felt like if I did something wrong that it would be my fault and for the longest time it like it brought me down and um, you know a lot of my good friends know all about this I have reached out to them I've let them know what's been going on so they're huge in my support system so shout out to all of my friends y'all ladies are amazing shout out to my fiance because he's an amazing person too like he helps me every single day and he lets me know that I am loved he lets me know that I can do whatever I want to do he supports me on this like what like yeah and uh, my daughter too you know my daughter she she's such a huge part of me she's a huge part of my life and um, you know all I want to do is make her happy and I want her to know that her mom's getting the help she needs and you know and 
I'm grateful for it, you know? I have more energy now. I play with my daughter as much as I can. She's downstairs now on her tablet. Like, it's her tablet time after she does her homework, of course. So, yeah. Um, but I wanted to make this video to let people, you know, know I am okay. But I also wanted to, you know, kind of raise awareness in some sort of way if I could. Um, I wanted to let people know that it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to have your vulnerable moments. It's okay to cry. It's okay to let it out. But you see that, <laughs> like I'm so nervous right now. But um, it's okay to reach out to people. It's okay to reach out to your family. It's okay to reach out to your friends, especially if you have good understanding friends like I do. I have very supportive friends. I have a couple more that I actually made in 2017 and I'm so grateful for it. I'm expanding my friends like I never wanted to I never wanted to expand my friends because I was like why do I need more friends for that's just more drama and it's like no just get friends who want to be around you who want to be cool with you who don't want to spread lies about you and stuff like that so I'm not with the drama not with it in 2018 we're leaving that in 2017 over there I don't know if you can see it, 2017 is over there. Anyways, so, like I was saying, my daughter's a huge support our person that supports me too, even though she's so young and she has no clue what's been going on. Um, I've kind of not told her about it. I didn't want her to be confused and to be like, mama's not okay? No, honey, mama is fine, I promise you. Anyways, um, so yeah, so like I said, um, I do have to go to therapy again, uh, meet with counselor, doctor, take my meds, but you know what, this is good for me. It's been such a long journey for me over the past couple years, and I know a lot of you are probably like, girl, you was like a roller coaster. Okay, that's like a wave, but you get what I mean, right? Like, I'm very sorry if I've ever hurt you. Um, you know, I always try to make amends with the people that I hurt who are actually worth it. And, you know, I did um, <clears throat> happen to reconnect with one of my old best friends from kindergarten. She knows who she is, and a lot of you know who she is, too. And she has been a huge part of my life as well. So it's like, you can't always give up on that one person, and she happens to be that one person who I will never, ever give up on. We fight like we're sisters. We fight like a married couple. She knows who she is. Girl, you know who you are, okay? We've been best friends in kindergarten. And if you guys don't know that, like, you know me. Anyways, also, I have a big shout out to uh, my two sisters. They're legit my sisters. We are legit sister sisters, okay? Like, legit. Well, not legit, but like, legit. Um, shout out to L. L. Shout out to L. Shout out to Ellie and Mel. L L Mel. So I always get them like mixed up sometimes. Anyways, shout out to you guys. I know you guys put up with a lot of my shit. Wait, can I say shit? Am I allowed to say shit? I probably shouldn't say shit. Anyways. So yeah, so shout out to you guys. I know it's been rough couple of years and I know you guys seen my mood swings up and down up and down like a roller coaster or a wave whatever you want to say um so yeah so shout out to you guys shout out to Brie dude Brie is amazing I've never met a girl like Brie before like at first I didn't like her um she worked at one of my old jobs um she came in looking like she you know like you know what I mean? Like, that was Brie. You know what I mean? But you don't know what I mean, but I'm about to tell you. <laughs> she came in, and I was too iffy about her. I was like, this girl's not going to like me. I'm not going to like this girl. Like, who is she? But Brie turned out to be such an amazing person. You can totally talk to Brie about anything, and she'll sit there, and she'll listen to you, and she'll give you advice, and it's like, where have you been all my life, girl? So shout out to you, girl. This video was also for you. Um, and also shout out to my mom, bro. Like, hopefully, mom, if you're watching this, I love you. I love you, girl. You are my number one. You're my ace, my mom, Dukes. Like, 
without you, obviously I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be making this. And yeah, so shout out to you. I know you've seen me through my worst, through my greatest, my happies, my cries, my emotionals, like my twisted times, my times where I blew up at you and I'm really sorry. You know, I love you no matter what. You're my mom. You come first and I love you. And you know, you've helped me in so many ways that you probably don't even know. You obviously know how to push my buttons, but that's because you and I are the same. So, you know, mother, daughter, huh? Anyways, so shout out to you, mom. I love you very, very much. If you guys don't know my mom, do you even know me? Like, yeah, so shout out to you, mom. Love you. Thank you. Um, shout out to my fiance. You know, my fiance, he's super supportive. He always tells me he loves me. He always tells me I'm beautiful, even when my hair look like a this. So, yeah, it looks like this. Like, ugh. But if many of you actually know me, you guys know that I wear a bun, like, every single day. Like, the bun is just, like, a part of who I am, I guess. And I'm trying to, like, just let my hair go free because, like, I got a lot of it. I have lots, lots of it. it. Used to be short when I first moved to Georgia, and now look how long it is. So, Caitlin, if you're watching, girl, thank you so much for that haircut, because look how long and thick it got. Like, shout out to you, girl. You did a good job. Oh, Lucy's hair is super duper long, too, by the way. Like, whoa. Like, you remember how short her hair was? It's long now, girl. It's so long. It's probably passing by. Anyways. <clears throat> So like I said, I want to just uh, let everybody know it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to seek help. It's okay to come to me. If you want to come to me, come to me. Like you can talk to me about anything. doesn't matter what time of day. If I'm sleeping, of course I'm going to get back to you right away. But call me, text me, message me, Snapchat me, Twitter me, Twitter me, ugh. Facebook me, Instagram me, whatever you want to do. You can always reach out to me. And there's also plenty of sites that you can go on. There's plenty of people you can call. Um, you know, if it's a more serious matter, there's obviously hotlines that you can call too. But don't be afraid to seek help because seeking help is probably one of the best things that you can do. No one's going to judge you. Um, nobody should judge you, especially if they love you and they really want to be there for you. They should never judge you in any way. But um, yeah, so get support get the help you need and be a better you because we all know you can we're all one all of us doesn't matter what color you are doesn't matter if you're a woman man trans it doesn't matter just if you need help reach out like it's an amazing thing to do because I used to think that I was in the dark and I used to think that this was gonna be the rest of my life where I was just gonna throw it all away but you know what it's a beautiful thing to get help. So I encourage everybody to get help. So thank you. Um, so yeah, so this is a vlog. Um, hopefully I'll have more content up for you guys sooner or later. You guys know I'm huge on social media. Well, I'm not huge on social media. I'm huge with social media. Like I like to take pictures. I like to do makeup. I like to Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. I like to Facebook. So yeah. So subscribe, pop that like down there, hit that button, hit that like. Is it this way or is it this way? I guess it doesn't matter. So yeah. So I will see you on the next vlog. Um, maybe we'll do like a questionnaire, like a Q&A for next one. I don't know. If you guys have any questions, you can go ahead and comment down below. I will link my social media so then you guys can follow me at everything. I accept any and everybody. I'm not one of those where I like, uh, but if you're creepy, please don't do that because I'm engaged, so yeah, so I'm very excited to share this with you guys. This is the real, real me, and I'm so glad that I can express this through YouTube, through social media, because it's like, I don't know, I hate bottling it up. I like to be funny, I guess. I don't know. I will try to keep the swearing content on the DL because I know a lot of kids will probably watch this and my daughter will probably watch this. Hi Lucy, I know you're watching. Um, so yeah, so I'll keep the swearing at a minimum and I'll always try to beep things out so I 
So if I say bad words, I will beep them out as much as I can. So yeah. But uh, thank you for supporting me. Um, I will see you guys on the next vlog. Bye, guys. Thanks.